Yes, dating for two for Valentine's Day. It looks like we can put you down for Valentine's Day 2038. Let's go with plan B. Okay, so you couldn't get a seat at the fanciest restaurant in town. No need to worry because you can make fancy filet mignon at home. And for Valentine's Day, give your girlfriend the gift of smashed gender rolls by making her a fancy dinner and doing the dishes afterwards. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm still going to do it. Charlottesville 2.0 be damned. Now, before we even think about cooking the steaks, have them come to room temperature first. Because we're going to cook the steaks to a nice medium rare. After all, we're making filet mignon, not seared ahi tuna. So if you're worried about germs, just cover them in plastic wrap and leave them out in the kitchen for a couple hours. And since I already did that in advance, let's get the seasoning. Sprinkle our steak with salt. Let's also add some black pepper. And if you have a John Tron pepper grinder, the better. Now we're going to cook our steaks in a 12 inch saute pan. You can use any pan that you like as long as it's not non-stick. You'll find out why later. Now let's set it over medium high heat. Add in a tablespoon or two of grapeseed oil. And one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Make sure they're mixed up and fully melted. Now time to add our steak. Cook them for four and a half minutes per side. All right, look at that nice, sexy crust. That's what we want. Again, four and a half more minutes. Once they're done, transfer them to a plate. Turn off the heat. Dump out the excess liquid. See these bits? They're gonna make a pan sauce. That's why I told you not to use this non-stick. So we're gonna need it to glaze. So I have here a quarter cup each of brandy and white wine. In a second, I'm gonna show you why you have to turn the heat off. Didn't set fire. Good. Anyway, get all the stuff off the bottom with a whisk. Next, add a third of a cup of heavy cream. Turn the heat back on. And set it over medium high again. Let the sauce reduce. All right, when it darkens in color, give it a nice taste test. I'm still not sure. Just put some on the back of a spoon and do this. If it wipes away cleanly, it's ready. And spoon this lovely sauce onto our steak. There we go. No need to spend hundreds on a fancy dinner. With a little know-how, you and your lover can enjoy a nice steak dinner at home. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun, and meaning it this time. <laughs>